Hi, and welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm Laura Conway with NAMI of Beaufort County, filling in for Sandy Benson today. We have a wonderful program ahead, so sit back and relax, and we're just going to jump right in. Our first guest uh, comes to us from the Gullah Geechee Cultural Heritage Corridor Commission. That's a mouthful. <laughs> and here to tell us a little bit about that today is Ronald Days, who is the chairman uh, of the commission. Thank you for being here with us today, Ron. Thank you for having me. Let's start with Gullah Geechee. Yes. Um, could you please, for those in the audience that are not uh, familiar with the term, uh, let us know a little bit about what Gullah Geechee is. What does it mean? Well, the words Gullah and Geechee identify a culture, a group of people, and a language. The culture of people who were uh, our descendants of primarily West Africans who were brought to this country during the 17 and 1800s for the production of the cash crops of cotton, indigo, and rice. Many came from Grain Coast or Rice Coast countries, and that's why rice dishes are very important. Uh, for years, it was considered that Gullah people were those descendants from South Carolina and North Carolina, and Geechee people were those from Georgia and uh, Florida. But uh, with the establishment of our management plan, we have self-identified ourselves as Gullah Geechee. We're the same people. We come from the same place, and we live on the same place um, all the way from the Cape Fear River of North Carolina down through South Carolina, Georgia, to St. John's County, Florida. Uh, uh, all along the coast of the Atlantic Ocean. And let's talk about that. The corridor itself, um, in, in, in just looking at the vastness of it, um, like you just mentioned, ranging from all the way in North Carolina to Florida, um, what, it, it's about 13,000 square miles. Just, just about. about. It um, spans uh, an area about the size of the state of Maryland. Wow! Wow! That is that. It, it's it's huge. Mm -hmm. It's um, it's it's very very impressive. Um, and the commission's role. What what does the commission uh, do? Well, the corridor was established by federal legislation in 2006. Uh, the bill was the act was sponsored by Congressman James E. Clyburn. The commission was established to develop a management plan for this national heritage area. And it is one of 49 national heritage areas, the only one that deals with a living culture, the only one that deals with a living culture of an African American population. Wow, wow. And what is the commission? Who is the commission uh, comprised? There are 25 commissioners uh, who were selected um, by two offices, one by the National Park Service and one by the State Historic Preservation Officers. And uh, there are, from each of the four states, uh, commissioners are selected, and I proudly am the second chairman of this august group. Wonderful. <laughs> uh, I follow the uh, chairmanship of Emory S. Campbell, also okay. of, Hilton, of Hilton Head Island, who served for two terms. Okay, wonderful. And all volunteer. All okay. volunteers. <laughs> so you all, you all do this in your, in your spare time. special government employees. Very special people, <laughs> that's, that's for sure. Um, can you talk about the significance um, of the Gullah Geechee Cultural Heritage Corridor itself? Well, it is um, very significant. I like to inform people, Gullah Geechee mean a lot, uh, using Gullah Geechee language. Um, those four words, uh, and the subject verb agreement is not in order, but um, for years these were considered as fighting words. No one wanted to be identified by Gullah or Geechee. Uh, they were, it was thought to be derogatory. Um, it was a source of embarrassment if you spoke a certain way, if you lived in a certain community, but the heritage of our ancestors helped to shape the economy of this country. It's a, the fabric of America was molded by Gullah Geechee people, um, and that is our significance. The corridor, or the commission, with the establishment of our management plan, would like uh, to get partners to work with us 
to follow uh, things that have been set aside in the management plan so that we can tell our stories fully of our significance, how we have shaped this culture not only through our language, our beliefs, our spirituality, our folk customs, and traditions. It's numerous ways we want to tell in our own words how we help help to shape American Wonderful. heritage. Wonderful. And that management plan, um, really reaching out, um, as you just said, uh, to the community and mm -hmm. getting them involved. How can an individual uh, or a business or a governmental agency do that? How can, how can they get involved? It's very easy if you have not received a copy of this document. You can go online to our website, www gullahgeecheecorridor.org or you may visit any of the public libraries within the corridor. Documents are there. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. And uh, we're just about out of time, but thank you so much for being with us, Ron. Uh, we really do appreciate it. And for more information, um, please visit the website or call the number that's on your screen, and we'll be right back.